Have you ever wondered how much do YouTubers make? Have you wondered how much do I make as a YouTuber? And how much would you make as a YouTuber if you're already a YouTuber or if you're thinking about starting your channel? Is it possible to sustain your current lifestyle if you become a full-time YouTuber? Or is it rice and beans, beans and rice, and lots of cup noodles like some self-deprecating YouTubers claim? So today we're going to dive deep into how does YouTube revenue work? What are the common misconceptions about YouTube revenue? And lastly, by the end of this video, you'll learn exactly how much I make and exactly how much some other YouTubers make. And you'll also be able to estimate how much you'll be making with certain different genres. And as a bonus, you will also see exactly how much I made with 1 million views. And of course, I'll give you the fishing rod so you'll be able to calculate this number too, not just with my channel, but also predict how much you will make and how much some other YouTubers make every single month, and even with specific videos, how much they are making. How YouTube revenue works is that us YouTubers, we get paid when people watch ads as they appear on our video before, during, after, or some of the banners that you see. Those are called overlay ads and those also pay us money. One common misconception that people have is that YouTubers get paid based on subscriber count or like ratio or like counts. So let me just debunk this. YouTubers do not get paid. Let me repeat that again. YouTubers do not get paid based on subscriber count or how much like they get or even the like ratio. So I still remember when I was under attack by a community. Let's not name which community, but there's this community that threatened to downvote or thumbs down on all my videos in order to make my like ratio super bad or super low, thinking that doing this can destroy me. But that is actually not true. That does not destroy me because no matter if it's a thumbs up or thumbs down, YouTube treats that as interaction and any interaction is good. Any interaction will boost your channel. So while they're thinking that by downvoting me or putting the thumbs down, they're destroying me, they're actually helping me, big time. Also with subscriber count. Subscriber count does not directly impact your YouTube channel revenue. It does not impact how much money you make from YouTube. Subscriber count is just something that is more like social proof. Let's say a new viewer comes to your channel and they see that you already have a certain base number of subscribers. Let's say you have a 5,000 or 10,000 or 20,000 then they are more prone to subscribe to your channel because they see that other people are doing it, so your channel must be good. And another thing about subscriber count is that when subscribers subscribe to your channel, there is a higher chance that they are going to see the new videos that you post, so you will get a boost when you upload new videos. And that boost can also indicate to YouTube that your videos are good, so YouTube will push your video out to a wider audience and then overall you'll just get more views and more potential to have people watch ads on your channel and more potential to earn money. But they're not directly correlated. I know very, very big channels that have a lot of subscribers but their subscriber to view ratio ain't so great, so they actually don't get a lot of views. And another thing to keep in mind is that not every view is equal. And what I say by that is that even though one channel, let's say Beat the Bush, can post a video with 100,000 views, and let's say I can post a video with also 100,000 views, that has not happened yet, but I know one day it will. But let's say these two things happen, but what Beat the Bush makes is not necessarily what I make. And this is where CPM comes into play. CPM is basically the amount of money you get paid per thousand views. And of course, CPM is a number that YouTube does not allow us 
YouTubers or video creators to tell you guys but there is one very simple calculation that you can perform on true CPM because the CPM that YouTube gives you is only based on monetized views. It's only based on the views that has uh, no ad block for the views that actually watch your ads, for the views that actually had ads playing in them. And sometimes when you log into the YouTube app and you watch some videos, your first video is probably not filled with ads because YouTube does not want you to leave the platform. And ads will only start playing as you watch more videos because YouTube's like, oh yeah, I, I got this viewer. This viewer wants to stay on our platform, so why not monetize these views? So CPM, the YouTube CPM or YouTube's official CPM number is not necessarily the true CPM. The true CPM, this calculation that we're going to do, is going to show you a much, much lower number than what's advertised on the YouTube studio or the YouTube dashboard. So this calculation is you take the total amount of views, total amount of views and the total amount of revenue per the same period. Let's say 28 days, for the past 28 days, how much is your revenue and how many views got you that revenue? So then you would take the total revenue divided by the amount of views and this is your true CPM. So let's say you made $100,000 with 1,000 views. This is highly unlikely, by the way. No one gets that high of a CPM. It is usually around like $2. That is the average. But let's say this is the case. Then you will take 100,000 divided by 1,000 views. So you'll basically get $100 per view. This is just a super simplified version of how you calculate your true CPM. So now that we've covered how to calculate your true CPM, I am going to show you exactly how much I made in the past 28 days. And keep in mind, YouTube ad revenue is not my only source of income as a YouTuber. I also have other ways to make money with YouTube, which I talked about in my 15 streams of income video. So with this screenshot, you can see exactly how much I made within the past 28 days. And keep in mind that this is actually not my only source of income with just YouTuber, with my role as a YouTuber, because there are affiliate links that I use and there are other sources of YouTube related income that I go more into detail in my 15 sources of income video. And as you guys can see, when I divide my total revenue in those 28 days by the thousand views that I'm getting, my true CPM is around $2.71. So this is my true CPM. And with this method, you can also calculate what are other YouTubers making. So by now you might ask me, well, Cherry, you promised to tell me how much I'll be making if I were to be a YouTuber. And yes, I will tell you exactly how to approximately calculate how much you'll be making as a YouTuber. So let's say you want to make personal finance videos. Then you can just look at YouTubers that show you this screenshot with the similar genre. Personal finance YouTubers that show you this screenshot and then you can just calculate their true CPM and you can estimate your true CPM. And be conservative with your calculations if let's say personal finance YouTubers usually gain around $6 CPM, true CPM, then be conservative and say maybe you're around a three to four dollar per CPM because as you are a smaller channel, a smaller YouTuber, YouTube does not push your videos to a very specific niche if you don't have one yet and when that is the case, the advertisements cannot be as targeted and it is possible that your ad revenue is going to be much lower than those bigger channels. Now that we've talked about how much you'd be making as a YouTuber with a specific niche, let's talk about the common CPM with different niche. So before we talk about the high paying niche, let's talk about the low paying or non-monetized niche. So these include prank videos, which are easily demonetized and also sensitive subject videos such as and also sensitive subject videos such as anything about sex or drugs or politics, anything 
along those lines. And then music also gets demonetized pretty easily and it doesn't have a very high CPM. Vlogs usually don't get a high CPM either because the advertisers don't really know which ads to put onto vlogs. Makeup is pretty lucrative. So when you look at CPM, per category or per genre, you can also think about the industry. If it is a huge billion dollar industry, then you can predict that that genre, that topic of videos, that topic of the channel can usually gain a pretty high CPM. Since beauty is a billion dollar industry, you do gain a pretty high CPM with beauty. And with personal finance, you also gain an even higher CPM for personal finance because the finance industry, Wall Street, it's all really big and banks earn a lot of money and each customer they get, they earn a significant amount of money with personal finance videos and uh, by targeting your ads and personal finance videos, there's a high chance that you will get paid big bucks. And I'm talking about the business side of things, the businesses that are in the finance industry. And likewise, real estate, also really lucrative, so they pay a pretty high CPM. And another one is e-commerce, like dropshipping or uh, Shopify courses. These also pay a super high CPM because it's very lucrative, very high demand. Just think about how do you earn money with courses? You just put a one-time investment, investment of your time, one-time effort, and it has no ceiling. So that's why advertisers are very willing to put their ad money into these Shopify or courses related videos because it is super lucrative and it has a high potential to make a lot of money. So now that you know which niche has a lot of money, which niche are very lucrative, let me know. Do you want to be a YouTuber? Do you think this will be able to sustain your current lifestyle? And if you are a YouTuber, let me know in the comments what is your niche? What is your genre? And here I will also show you some of my videos since my channel has a variety of different videos, different genres of videos. I will show you a comparison of the difference, the difference of how much money each video can make per real CPM. So here you can see the comparison. Don't look at the total views, but rather look at analytics and look at the views in the past uh, period. One is 28 days, another is 11 days. And in this period, my car video has 386 views and my investment video has only 210 views. But you can see that my investment video is actually making even more than my car video. And I believe partially it is because they're two completely different genres. Investing a genre probably makes you more money than uh, living in a car, car life, a van life video because the industry is more lucrative. The personal finance industry or the finance industry in general is more lucrative. And then other deciding factors include the geographical location of your viewers and the length of your video, how many mid-row ads you put in inside your video, those also take a part in making up your total revenue. And here I'm going to show you how much I made with 1 million views. 1 million views. And here I'm just showing you the cumulative views because I don't have 1 million viewed videos yet, but I believe in the future it is possible. Hope this video was helpful. I will see you in my next personal finance video.